Hello, my name is Alex Gilbert, and this is a project I made for Math 244, Discrete Mathematics, taught by Professor Reed at the College of Lake County. Um, so the project I decided to do for Chapter 1 was the Simoleon Island Project, and um, the name of my project is Welcome to Simoleon's Island. So it's a little game. I like to make games, so I made a, I made a game. So to start off, let's go ahead and start. Now, how Simoleon's Island worked, is that one of these, or not one of them, but each of them are either a truth teller or a liar. So our job is to find out who is lying. And the way we're going to figure that out is by kind of what they say. So we're going to go over, so as you can see, they're each wearing different color shirts, or little skirts there. And uh, this guy's going to say, all of us are truthful. So his statement is that everyone is telling the truth. Now, Red, who's wearing the red skirt, says green is lying, so he's accusing that one of lying. Now, one way to solve these problems is to kind of think it out. Or, if you're not as clever as Mr. Smolian, you can go ahead and make hit a truth table. And my program actually lets you uh, make a truth table, as you can see here. Now, green statement is that all of us are truthful, and red statement is green is lying. So you can see it already puts it in there for you. And it already does uh, these for you, too. So now what these are are all the possible outcomes. You know, uh, they both could be telling the truth, green could be telling the truth, red could be lying, green could be lying, red is telling the truth, or they're both lying. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and assume it's true, and then just kind of go through and see the how each of their statements add up. So if we go into the problem thinking that they're both telling the truth, green statement, all of us are truthful, is true because they're both telling the truth. But the statement green is lying is false. So the problem with that is that if they're both telling the truth, red can't be telling the truth and lying at the same time. So we know that's not an answer. In this one, green's telling the truth and red's lying. So all of us are truthful, well that's a lie because red is lying. Green is lying, uh, is false as well, because he's telling the truth. Um, now, the next one is false true, or green's telling the truth, and, or excuse me, green is lying, and red is telling the truth. All of us are truthful is a lie. Green is lying is truth, because he is lying. So, we can see this one adds up. False true, false true. So in this one, we went in saying green was lying and red was telling the truth. And we came out with green is lying and red is telling the truth. So it's consistent there. So we know that's the answer. But let's go ahead and fill in the last one here. All of us are truthful. Well, that's obviously wrong because they're both lying. Green is lying is true. So this one was false, false. Here we got false, true. So the answer we got was this false, true one up here. So we know the one that's lying is green. So let's go ahead and hit back here. And who is lying, it asks? Well, we know it's green, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on him, and he's going to make a little frowny face. Because no one likes being accused of being a liar, so he's making a frowny face. But let's go ahead and see if that's the answer. We're going to go ahead and click Submit. And, uh, yep, so this is... So, um, right here is doing a little dance, because he was telling the truth, and, you know, the truth always prevails, and in this case, they dance. All right. So the program tells you that was just a warm-up. Are you ready for the next problem, it asks? Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and hit next and see if we are. All right, so this one we've got three islanders, so it's a little bit trickier. Green tells us red is lying or blue is lying. Maybe both. And he actually says red is lying or blue is lying. Maybe both. Maybe both of them are lying. Red tells us blue is lying. And blue says green and blue are truthful. Now these problems, these first two, are right out of the book. Um, the first problem of section 1-2, I want to say. So that's, these are straight out of the book. So to go ahead and solve this one again, we're going to use a truth table. Now this one, since there's three, there's a lot more of these little dots, and it could take me... Uh, you know, I could spend quite a long time going in here and <laughs> filling all these out. Or I could make this little, or I could click this little button here that says autofill, which will fill it all up for me, <laughs> which is really nice because it's going to make it a whole lot easier. So now what we're trying to do is we're just looking for that consistent one here. 
and the consistent one here is this true false true see true false true so that's consistent so we know that the one in the middle which is red because that's red statement up there is lying so let's go ahead and go back and red is lying so we're going to accuse him of lying and he's going to make that little frowny face again which means you're accusing him of lying and it says who is lying well we're saying red is lying we're going to hit submit and that was the right answer because the truth tellers are doing a dance again and the program tells us you're pretty good you still have much to prove so let's go ahead and see if we can prove ourselves so let's go ahead and hit next alright so we got another problem and this again is straight out of the book now this guy says red and blue are lying so he's saying these two are lying red says green is lying or blue is lying not both of them so he's saying one of these are lying and the other one is telling the truth and blue says at least one of us is lying all right, well, again, let's go ahead and use a truth table. Let's go ahead and cheat and hit autofill because we don't want to go through all that. Not for the video, of course. Um, and let's just go ahead and look for one that looks true or it looks consistent. All right, and this one looks consistent right here. False, true, true. False, true, true. So the one lying here is green. So let's go ahead and go back. And we're going to go ahead and accuse green of lying. So let's go ahead and hit submit. All right, and that was the right answer. So you see our truth tellers are doing a dance. And it says, wow, only few can do what you do, but none can do the next problem. So let's go ahead and see if we can do it. Let's hit next. Who is lying? All right, so this is the problem I made up. And as you can see, we've got four islanders. And actually, that's as much as this program will allow to have. Because as you can see, we're running out of space on the screen. And I figured it would be pointless to to use more than four if I can't fit them all on the screen. So, let's go ahead and check out the problem. Green says red is lying or green is lying. Maybe both. Red says green is lying. Blue says green and red are lying. And purple says all of us are truthful. Well, let's go ahead and use a truth table. Let's go ahead and hit autofill again. So here's our truth table and we're looking for one that's consistent. And here it is right here. True, false, false. True, false, false. So in this one, we have three liars. Red, blue, and purple. So let's go back and accuse red, blue, and purple of lying. They're all going to make that little frowny face. Let's hit submit. And that was a correct answer. And you can see Green's doing a little dance. And it says, you, sir, are a genius. Very good. So let's go ahead and hit next. And it says, congrats, you are the master of logic. And now they're all doing a little dance go back to the main menu. Just so you know, I didn't make any of this art. I found it all online. Um, all the pro uh, Everything I did was coding. Yeah, I did all the programming. And this was made in X and A using the C, uh, C Sharp, using the .NET framework. Um, I wanted to do a lot more with this program. I wanted to make it so that you could create your own prog uh, problems in the program and then solve them because the computer knows how to do it. I taught the computer how to solve problems. So I wanted it so where you could make your own and then the computer would solve it. But it's like 10 o'clock right now and <laughs> I think it's what I have is all right. So I'm just gonna... So that's my project. Hope you enjoyed it.